Okay, what's up everybody? Welcome to your Daily Dose of Awesome. Your life 50 minutes of daily motivation, inspiration, and education so you can get your day started right. Now, today's topic, I am reviewing my good buddy uh, Vince Reed's new book, Internet Traffic and Leads, uh, the past, present, and future of online marketing for entrepreneurs who want to win. So I, I literally stayed up, uh, you know, I, didn't, I guess I didn't stay up late last night. I read the entire book last night it took me about three hours to finish um and uh really it was one of those books that you kind of just ha have so mo so much momentum reading through and are going so fast it's a it's a quick it was a quick read for me uh so not a lot of big words so it's easily, inter easily understandable but most importantly it it's extremely engaging it's told in the form of a story and uh you know vince's story as to how it is he created the online empire he has today and so uh that's what i want to talk about today i want to share with you uh, not only this, uh, you know, stuff about internet marketing and, and what he discovered, this is actually, to me, this is a network marketing story. Uh, a big, comp you know, a big part of uh, Vince Reed's career uh, online and his success is, was uh, dedicated to direct sales and network marketing world. He built a massive organization in network marketing uh, before leaving that company and becoming a trainer. And so I want to share a little bit about some of that story. And some of the big takeaways that I got from, from Vince's book, and uh, especially if you're a network marketer, there's a special chapter early on where he actually explains how it is he, uh, he built a big organization, so I'll talk about that in a second. So, but before we get started, I want to introduce myself. My name is Fernie Savalas. I'm a lead generation online marketing expert, specializing in, in helping home business owners, that's network marketers, affiliate marketers, direct sellers, multiply their incomes using the internet. I built my first six-figure network marketing business within a couple of years. I've discovered the information we teach here at Elite Marketing Pro, and over the past 10 years, I've been responsible for over $11 million in gross income into my home businesses, and have helped our students and clients uh, and colleagues in the industry produce hundreds of millions of dollars uh, via our mentorship uh, in their respective businesses, in network marketing, direct selling, uh, internet marketing, and uh, even brick and mortar. So what we do works across all niches, including the direct selling and network marketing industry. Uh, and so today's today's uh, you know live is going to be evidence of the fact that online marketing, not not prospecting, but online marketing for network marketing can absolutely work if you follow it and, and, and do it in a in a methodical and systematic way. And most importantly, are committed to learning the skill sets. Now, uh, if you if you uh, one of the things I, I recommend uh, for anyone that that reads this book is is be familiar with some of the very, very, very basics of, of online marketing. Uh, and so in order to do that, I think there's an opportunity for you to go to EliteMarketingPro.com, opt into our 10-day online recruiting bootcamp that's there right now. It's free. Just going through that alone will educate you on some of the terms that will help you uh, you know, understand uh, Internet Traffic and Leads by Vince Reed. Uh, if you're brand new to Internet uh, marketing or Internet recruiting and have, you know, if you're a newbie, uh, that will help you a ton. Now, uh, I highly also recommend you subscribe to these lives. We do these every single day, Monday through Friday, 1 a.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Uh, we are we deliver impactful content. In fact, this week we have uh, some million-dollar earners scheduled to, to be guests on this program. And so uh, what I recommend you do right now is somewhere uh, on this uh, screen, if you're watching this on mobile, there should be an opportunity for you to follow us if you're not following us already. If you don't see a button uh, that allows you to follow us in the top right corner, Click on the video that should create, uh, open up an ellipsis, ellipsis symbol, which is dot, dot, dot. Click on that. Uh, that'll allow you to follow us and also turn on notifications uh, so that you get notified every time we go live. Little ping on your phone, nothing too intrusive. And uh, you can either watch us live and interact with us or uh, listen, watch the recording later. Uh, and even if you're not watching, if you want to just listen to it while you're driving in, uh, uh, while you're driving in, in your car, uh, that's fine too. It's it's education that's going to help you, and it's it's what I call passive learning, if you will. Uh, it's stuff. It's there's it's learning. You don't have to actively be taking notes or anything like that. You just have to uh, tune in and listen. So, with that said, let me let me see who is on here. I want to make sure that you guys can hear me, and I haven't been, you know, talking to the ether. Uh, tune in oh, okay. There we so, go. What's up? What's up, guys? Those are the same. The usual suspects on Nona, Patrick, Scott, Fusano, Cindy, awesome. And be sure to, to share this. If you're a part of our, our community, be sure to share this with your referral link for AMF because um, it will absolutely be relevant. Do that right now uh, if you're watching. So 
with that said, let's hop into internet traffic and leads. Uh, and like I said in the, in the beginning of, of this uh, broadcast, uh, to me, this is a network marketing story. It's an online network marketing story, and, it, and it's pretty cool. I actually was, was a little surprised as to how much about his network marketing background Vince shared, uh, both his, his failures and ultimate successes in building our, an organization of over 20,000 distributors uh, where, uh, you know, it was a new company and 90% and of the company was, was literally under him. And he, he did it all online. So none of it was traditional prospecting. He didn't want to do that. Um, you know, he pretty much was done calling leads uh, after after the mortgage industry. So it was, it, the book starts off in a very personal way, talking about uh, growing up in the inner city of Los Angeles, uh, you know, some very uh, impactful and, and uh, I guess you can say even disturbing stories uh, about some of the experiences that, uh, you know, living with his mom in the inner city. And uh, I, I, says, I guess at some point in his early childhood, Vince got uh, taken out of there and, and his dad uh, basically had to move with him to the suburbs. So he moved with his dad um, to, to kind of escape the, the violence and, and just the negativity that plagues uh, the inner city in Los Angeles even to this day. And, uh, and, and his dad, he shared some of the most impactful lessons uh, that his dad had for him. Uh, his dad was by far his most influential mentor, as, as is for, for many of us. And, um, you know, some of the, the, the tough lessons that his dad bestowed upon him uh, stuck with Vince to, you know, even to, to this day. And, and so that led him to not only becoming a leader uh, in every respect and doing well in, in school, uh, but he also did well in sports and got a scholarship to Colorado, uh, the University of Colorado, and, uh, and um, uh, played foot, Division One football there and had hopes of going to the NFL. Although, I guess pretty soon he realized that, that he probably didn't have cut the mustard to, to be uh, a running back in the NFL, uh, but he did uh, learn a ton. And what what he shifted to uh, immediately after realizing he wasn't going to make it to the to professional sports was he shifted to his studies and, and became a a buff scholar. And so, uh, meaning he was basically uh, uh, one of the top students that also happened to be an athlete. He got a, above a three point four grade point average, and came home and realized that just having good grades and and a degree didn't mean you were going to get a good job. And uh, and so he struggled for, for quite a bit uh, for, you know, living, you know, living at home for a week before his dad basically kicks him out and say, hey, you got to make your own way. Uh, now that you have an education, make it happen. And so uh, one thing led to another and he became a loan officer uh, at, a, at, a, at a particular company where he as a salary. So he actually wasn't making any percentages and uh, and again, not making very much money, realizing that Uncle Sam takes a lot of your, your paycheck. Uh, he ended up. Uh, meeting somebody that, that worked at a, at a real estate office and, and, and a brokerage office, actually. And I uh, got an opportunity to be a loan officer there where he w was able to earn commissions. And immediately, I think the, the lesson out of that story uh, was that, you know, coming from, coming from poverty and once again being broke after college and being the big man, uh, you know, being, being hum humble enough to not only uh, not feel sorry for yourself for too long, but willing to do whatever it takes, getting whatever job, uh, you got and and being the best at what at that job regardless of what you were getting paid gave him the skill sets that he needed in order to transition to a job that actually paid him on performance and as soon as he got that job in in the as a loan officer in this brokerage firm uh, he immediately became the uh, almost immediately within two months became the top uh, loan officer in that in that uh, in that company and the reason why is because from the get go he made a commitment to be the best he made a commitment to be the best in that office. He said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come earlier and stay later than everybody else. Uh, he went around asking all the loan officers if they had any old leads. So if they had any old leads that they weren't, didn't want to uh, call because all of them wanted to you know, get the fresh leads that were being generated on the Internet and other places. Clue, leads are generated on the Internet. And, uh, and he basically took the crappy leads from all of them, worked harder than all of them, called, and uh, his first week had, had over seven deals already done from the old crappy lead. So he was willing to do what others weren't willing to do. And that was a, a huge lesson uh, in, in terms of what it is to actually takes to, to succeed and persevere in any industry. Uh, and that led them to, be, to becoming the top uh, loan officer in that company, making crazy amounts of money. Uh, you know, he had, you know, he's told me some of the stories from his real estate uh, days. Um, then the book fast forwards to basically the crash and he's broke again. 
Uh, none of the loans are being expected. None of, uh, none of the loans are going through. He basically was uh, financially irresponsible, got in a lot of debt, was even gambling, all, all type of stuff. And, and basically, uh, he was, you know, financially ruined. And um, he remembers, uh, you know, being sitting in his office at one point and, uh, and, and sees, sees an ad on Craigslist, uh, kind of just browsing around, and it says, how to make money on Google. And he, he, he basically bought into that headline, hook, line, and sinker, how to make money on Google. And that's what led him to, uh, you know, at least knowing that the, possibi that the possibility of earning income online uh, was, was possible. I mean, that particular ad was, was a scam, <laughs> apparently. Uh, but but it, it got him on a search. He eventually joined a direct selling company, struggled for, for six months, spent $2,000 and didn't make anything with that company. And, uh, and, and so, but he committed to being successful. He eventually found uh, probably his most influential mentor, Jonathan Budd. And, uh, and, and through Jonathan, he, 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 he started working on, on how to learn uh, not only Google AdWords, but traffic generation in general. He joined a new network marketing company, having learned the skills that, that he learned from Jonathan Budd and a few others. And, uh, you know, at that point is when things started clicking. So his six months and thousands of dollars that he invested in this industry started making sense to him. And uh, six, after six months, he started making his first commission. And, uh, and, and pretty soon thereafter, ramped up to build an organization in network marketing uh, in this particular company of over 20,000 distributors. So imagine that in six months, having no success, being broke, deep in debt, you earn your first commission, then all of a sudden things start making sense in your head. And then in the next six months, six months later, uh, becomes a top earner in his company uh, using primarily internet marketing. And he actually describes the funnel that he used in order to build this organization. And it was a very simple four-step funnel. So he created four videos. Uh, that, and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to tell you what, what the content of those videos are because you're going to have to go buy the book yourself and, and read. But it was a very simple formula for what it, what, what it is you need to explain in the network marketing spaces, especially if you're recruiting online and want to automate as much of it as possible, uh, in order to be effective in your enrollment, it's actually very simple. And uh, and he's taught to, taught me this in in the past, but it, it was pretty cool. So you gotta so big takeaway number one is you gotta find in the first few chapters he tells you what formula he used in order to construct that very simple funnel that used four videos uh, to enroll people into his network marketing organization, and also he allowed his distributors to also use that same system in order for them to enroll. And that's what created the duplication. Other people were able to copy his simple model and he was able to skyrocket to success. Uh, some shady things ha happened in that company where he no longer felt it was, uh, you know, it was an integrity to stay with that company. And he ended up uh, leaving that company, started another business in the, in the app development world, uh, but ran into some, some hurdles with, uh, you know, even though that became a seven figure business in and of itself, uh, that ran into some hurdles as it related to the iTunes store and he could no longer do that. So he actually shut down a seven figure business. So he's making six figures a month, uh, seven figures overall, uh, in a year, but his integrity and, and just, he knew that he wouldn't be able to deliver long term on, on, on that business itself. And so he decided to shut that down. So this is the, the, the type of person Vince is. Uh, if he doesn't feel like he can service clients, he's not going to accept any more money. Uh, and, and he could have easily made another million dollars uh, and and uh, and kept that business alive. But he decided to shut it down and and go back to his roots in network marketing and start training people on how it is he built uh, such a large organization online. And that became uh, my Internet traffic system, MITS. Uh, that grew into a multiple seven-figure business. Uh, and and uh, some of the lessons as to how it is he built that up, not just the traffic strategies, but on his commitment and what are you willing to do that others are not willing to do. Uh, if you guys know Vince for, for a long, you know, he, he, he's, if nothing else, Vince is consistent and extremely disciplined. And so one of the keys to making internet, my internet traffic system work for him was that he was willing to do a webinar training every single week for his members and then a free webinar uh, that was uh, available to the public to attract attention. So is that consistency over years where he's doing two webinars every single week without fail, uh, things that other net, uh, internet marketers and online trainers would not commit to, he was willing to commit to and that's how he built that 
uh, huge community and in, inside Mits, and we ended up Elite Marketing Pro ended up uh, buying uh, my internet traffic system from Vince because Vince wanted to move on uh, to some of the stuff he's doing now, and so we we basically merged companies, ended up bu buying his his business and servicing his continue to service his clients that were that were paying, and so that that's the story of Vince. Vince basically uh, walked away from a multiple seven figure business in Mits again uh, because he wanted he felt that his true calling was doing stuff like this, uh, not only servicing the network marketing industry, but servicing all of the online world and, and, and business owners who want to take their business online. And so even though I describe this as a, as a network marketing story, uh, you know, it is a network marketing story, but it ultimately, what, what it really tell, should tell you is that the skill sets you learn when you're doing attraction marketing, when you're doing uh, when you're learning internet marketing to build your network marketing businesses, these are skills you can take with you anywhere. Now he services and, and consults with all types of different businesses, uh, you know, seven-figure coaches uh, in the personal development space, real estate people, financial services, uh, network marketers, of course, still, uh, you name it. And so the, the, the big takeaway uh, for you guys here who are learning these skill sets that, hey, if you, you're, you're right now you're here to learn how do, how do I do lead generation? How do traffic generation? How do I build sales funnels so I can grow my network marketing business? But these are skill sets you can take anywhere. The conference I came back, uh, I came, I went to the Facebook certification program with uh, digital marketers, top people uh, on Facebook advertising. And uh, I met actually quite a few people there that were former community members uh, from our world, from the attraction marketing world. They came from our community that they, you know that they, they showed me pictures of taking pictures with me at no excuses and now they're students at the certification program and even though they're no longer involved in network marketing they took the skill sets they learned inside of this industry inside of our world the online world and transitioned to something they were more passionate about they realized hey direct selling or network marketing uh it's just you know i, I want i, I want to do something different so they took the skill sets that they learned and created six figure and multiple seven figure businesses using those skill sets. So what we're teaching more than anything, what we're doing here inside Elite Marketing Pro is we're teaching a skill set that can always feed you regardless of whether you're in network marketing or not. And that's true leverage, that is true power. Every single network marketing company in the world and every leader in the world uh, that's done it traditionally wants to keep you there. So they won't, they're gonna only teach you things that are relevant to build, building that business what we do here at Elite Marketing Pro is we teach you things that are relevant to building your dream business, whatever that business becomes. Some people that that come into EMP and learn what we do discover, hey, I'm not really that passionate about EM, uh, elite network marketing, but I like this affiliate marketing thing, or I'm not passionate about network marketing, I want to go into direct selling, or I'm not passionate about network marketing, but I want to you know launch my own info business. Or some people have even gone back to traditional business that, you know, I want to launch my own, uh, my, my own, uh, you know, traditional brick and mortar business, or I want to go into real estate, but the skill sets you guys taught me are, it's what's going to allow me to, to, to shift in that direction and, and live, live my dream. And so, uh, that's for me, that's the, the big, big takeaway, uh, for what we do here. And also what's inside of Vince is that he learns skill sets that allow him to build seven figure businesses serially. Uh, he's on his, third or fourth seven figure businesses uh, now uh, with with uh, his new company, Internet uh, uh, Traffic Factory. And and that's the, the big lesson. Commit yourself to being the best and learning all you can and learning these skill sets because not only are you going to be able to grow your network marketing or direct selling business, you're going to be able to do whatever the hell you want in case that doesn't work out as as often uh, as often happens in this industry. So hope that that is impactful. I highly recommend you guys go uh, to internettrafficfactory.com or I think you can also find this on Amazon and, and pick a copy up for yourself. It's a quick read, you know, not a lot of big words, which is great for me, and I just kind of plowed through it in three hours uh, and, and got a, a, some huge nuggets, the first nugget being uh, his first network marketing funnel, and it's actually a, a funnel that he actually would build today if he was building in the network marketing space. So go grab that inside of uh, uh, Internet Traffic uh, in Leads by Vince Reed. And uh, I just want to look at some some of your uh, your comments here. Thanks so much, Carrie. I really appreciate that. Uh, do what others aren't willing to do. That's absolutely true. Uh, never lose knowledge you gain. Oh, you can't. Once you gain it, you can't you can't lose it. Maybe you need a refresher. 
Um, totally good with the skills I'm learning. EMP will help me in any biz I want to use it in. Absolutely. Vince is awesome. Yeah, I'm going to be hanging out with him this week. How does uh, what create, EMP does great at teaching the skill sets. I love this community. Absolutely. We're here to, to teach you skill sets that you can take with you, regardless of what business decisions you make in the future. Because what we teach here is universal for any business, including uh, network marketing. Um, so can you please repeat the name of the book? Yeah, so Internet Traffic and Leads by Vince Reed. There you got it. And somebody can, you guys type it in the, the comment section. Some of you guys have already had it. So pick this up right now. This is an un unabashed endorsement. Uh, go, go grab Vince's book. Again, it's a quick read. You should be able to read it uh, pretty quickly for yourself and extract those, those huge nuggets, especially as it relates to network marketing, but more importantly, as it relates to your life in general. Uh, so thanks, Vince, for writing this. I know, you know, it was a, a ton of work, um, but it, it was pretty cool. Uh, you also, you writing about No Excuses Summit and the, the impact that the No Excuses Summit made on you. So it was pretty cool. Uh, you know, you know, you never know who you're going to impact and, and what they're going to write about you. And that, that was that was pretty awesome, man. So uh, thanks to Vince. Thanks for you guys for, for bearing with me here as I go through this review and talk about uh, reading through this last night. And go grab it, Internet Traffic and Leads. And if you want to be properly prepared to absorb some of the jargon uh, that's used here, then go to attraction. Then go to uh, EliteMarketingPro.com, opt into the Attraction Marketing Formula. You're going to learn the very basics uh, of internet marketing and some of the the language so that this uh, read can go as smooth as possible. Because uh, obviously, you know, you can't make the book 700 pages. So I hope that helps, guys. Take care, everybody. Have an awesome day. Uh, thanks, Vince, for writing this. Thanks, thanks, you guys, for being here. Take care.